I just found this 800 terabyte SSD on wish.com and I'm going to go through and buy it. Let me just show you how um wonderful this is. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. That's the word I'll use. Yeah. First off, um, I've selected the 8 terabyte RAM high quality option here with uh, the black one. So you've got all the different OSs that it works with. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. Um, and you've got high speed USB. You've got four colors, eight terabytes, 2021 new portable external hard disk. Yay. Looks pretty normal to me, actually. You've got a uh, micro USB 3.0. So my question to ask here is pretty simple. Um, does that look like water or mercury? Because if it's mercury, I'm, uh, uh, I don't know if I'm qualified to be dealing with that. That's not, that's not, that's not okay. I don't know if that's a good idea. Um, so here's our features. You got an eight terabyte portable USB 3.0 external SATA hard drive, but I thought it was a solid state hard drive disc. And it says SSD right here. Um, it's with shock proof, waterproof and anti scratch design. Well, you know, on this channel, we got to test that. Uh, I've got some things to make up for in some previous videos. We better test all of those. So our specifications, okay, it's got a size. It's got the colors. It's got an eight terabyte capacity. Ah, what? What? Why does it have cash? It's an SSD. You've got a leather case, a dampening gasket, a screw package, a screwdriver. Holy crap, this comes with a lot. Okay. Oh, look, it's a disclaimer. Um, color might be slightly different due to the calibration of each individual monitor. Please allow slightly different measuring de deviation to act to the manual measurement. So my question is this, if it's supposed to have different colors, why does the size change? That makes absolutely no sense, but that's what we do on this channel. We do things that make no sense. So we're just going to go through and buy this. Yay. Well, it, uh, finally showed up in the mail and, uh, it's right here. Interestingly enough, this advertises to be 800 terabytes. Uh, that's pretty impressive. That's eight petabyte hard drive. Plus it includes eight terabytes of RAM. So if you had an 800 terabyte hard drive, you probably would want to have eight terabytes of RAM, just like as cash pretty much. Yeah, this thing is beat up too. It's got some nicks already on it. A leather case? Where's the leather case? This ain't leather. This don't even look like what they sent to me. Huh? Well, let's crack it open, see what we got. So like, it definitely doesn't feel like there's anything inside of here other than my depression of getting scammed out of, how much was this? Oh yeah, $50 guys. I think I spent more on the last couple of videos than I have in months on videos. Well, you got no instructions and this is pretty sure it's an empty box. He makes a return guys, he makes a return. Shock proof, waterproof and uh, anti-scratch design. Well, good thing on Jay's tech vault, we test all of those things. Shockproof, waterproof, and anti-scratch design. Anti-scratch, you say? Yeah, I think I think we might try that anti-scratch. Oh, e, man, it's supposed to be anti-scratch, guys. Anti-scratch, my. Um, it's also waterproof and shockproof. I guess I know how to find out if it's waterproof or not. I'm gonna go fill this up with water um, from the top here. There's a little US hole. And um, basically, if I'm correct and it's waterproof, then it, I should be able to basically just pour the water in there and it should stay in there and then I can come over here and show you guys. Um, in reality, that sounds like a bad idea because it's gonna be pouring water everywhere. Man, dude, I thought this was waterproof. What the heck? This is supposed to be waterproof? Even if I cover up the holes where the screws were. It should not be leaking. Yet it is. 
So our waterproof enclosure here is quite well a joke. It's not scratch proof. Um, the question is, how do we even get it open? Ow, hammer's the way. So my question is this. What is, what are they storing in here? You guys see this, right? There's some like USB. I thought this was like a hard drive shroud or whatever. No. Definitely not. Whatever they're hiding in here, making me a little concerned. Well, this is not what I expected. It's not radioactive, but um, like this isn't even a hard drive enclosure. So it looks like just two USBs on it. And then like a, a hub. So like, I was not expecting this. Like I was expecting like a, a maybe like a storage, you know, an enclosure at the, you know, worst. So first off, let's be clear here. Uh, there's absolutely no way in the world that this has 800 terabytes on it, uh, let alone eight. So I'm interested to see though, what actually happens when you plug this in. It's really trash plastic too, holy crap. Like you just literally found like the cheapest thing, like plastic bag, you like out of the garbage, wrapped it up. I'm going to play Russian roulette. Plug this in to see what happens. I'm curious what's even gonna show up. Is it gonna blow up my computer? Hard drive E and hard drive F, so it's showing up as two separate drives. Each one of these is containing a 2.5 megabyte bit of used space, 1.81 terabytes of free space. So these are basically dummy USB sticks that have well, probably not anything. Let's try putting some stuff on them. Super speed data transfer rate of up to five gigabytes per second. About 10 times faster than the USB 2.0 standard. Let's see what happens when we take some stuff that we have, some files or something, some video files, and um, try to transfer them over. I'm gonna transfer a good bit of video files. So it looks like it's the bottom one there. It looks like so far it's written to about, I'd say roughly about 512 megs, and it looks like it's crashed. Um, that's what we're looking at so far. Right off the bat, yeah, it's not even writing anything anymore. Bugged out, and uh, not gonna do anything. So on the back here, it says that it has 601 megabytes. So that would make sense. So it's clearly not even running the, what is this, five gigabits per second. Uh, damping gasket, screw package, screwdriver. Okay, hold up. There was literally none of that. There was uh, not a hard drive and a USB cable, no. Uh, the leather case, uh, no, no leather case. Uh, screw package, no. Um, screwdriver. No, like none of this looks exactly, like it looks completely different from what is advertised. Um, let's see if it's shockproof, guys. Y'all wanted the shockproof test, let's do the shockproof test. Cause this is supposedly, it's, it's not even shock resistant, it's shockproof. Well, hmm, that actually did pretty good on the first try. I mean, I'm not too worried. Hmm, I don't know, my data might be, my data might have some problems after that. My life flashed before my eyes. Hey Dan, do you think this is shock resistant? Oh, sorry, shock proof. 
Does that look shark proof to you? Hey! The whole house could hear that. It sounds like your bed shaking, but we all know that's not the case. So shock proof. Um I'd say probably not. Well, I guess there's really nothing left to do, is there? So shock proof, right? Shock proof, guys. Hey, it's shock proof. Don't worry about it. Nothing can happen. We're all good. It's shock proof. Don't worry, guys, it's shock proof. Totally. Actually, what is true about this? What is actually advertised as true? Speed, 5,400 RPM. No, what did we get that actually is here? Screwdriver, okay, so hard drive and USB cable. Okay, I could say that. Leather case, nope. Damping gasket, nope. <laughs> Clearly not. Screw package, new. Screwdriver, new. And an extra USB cable here, new. And not a colored box. In conclusion, for our 800 terabyte, uh, it's not even an enclosure. I really thought I was getting an enclosure. Our 800 terabyte mystery here. Um, is it a scam? Well, I think there's lots to contemplate here and uh, lots to weigh on uh, whether or not you believe that. But I, I hope by the end of today's video, you're at least a little bit more aware of um, the eight petabyte storage scam because well i don't even know what this is like what that is that's wrapped around this so um point of this story is if you honestly started this video expecting me to actually get eight petabytes uh sorry to disappoint and i've got a lot to clean up because this thing is a mess and i i, I just don't want to even know what the this black substance is Probably can carcinogenic. Carcinogenic. So, this is not 8 terabytes. No. Thank you very much for watching. I want you to have an absolutely wonderful day. And if you're not, um, make it a wonderful day. Adios, boys.